Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Life is Strange. Had a pretty eventful one in the last episode. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nearly died a couple of times. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? And now we're Listen, back at art class. Your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh, it means shit happens, right? <laughs> no, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Hell yeah! Alright, so now that we're not escaping trains and pointing guns at people, we're back in art class, baby. Enter the Vortex Club this October. That's what Kate went to, right? That's where she got drugged and... I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Oh, there's the freaking scum principal. End of the world party? Whoa, what? Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Rude! Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. You're saying my deer shirt doesn't cut the, uh... Doesn't cut the cake when it comes to, to partying? I don't think any of these people matter. I'm not sure what we're really looking for. Let's talk to the scumbag principal. Sir? Ah, hello, Max. Would you like to tell me what you wouldn't yesterday? Um... There was just a lot going on, with the fire alarm and everything. Yes, but you were distracted by something else. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. You won't tell me the truth about yesterday, but you want to tell me the truth about Mr. Madsen. It sounds more like sour grapes. Excuse me now. Hmm. Well, we can't go in his office. I was going to do some snooping around, but... Oop. Should we confront him? Let's talk Excuse to him. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You stepped between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. 
Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Hmm, well that didn't really get anywhere. Uh-oh, new text from Warren. What the hell? <laughs> Sit down, science bra. Hmm. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. What you up to, Warren? <laughs> Warren and chemistry stuff. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Hmm. Let's go with the potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Was that it? Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Okay, try the... Big, big brain. Hey, Warren. Max, try the salt. Asking. Have that either. I have a vision. Oh. Go diem. Go diem. That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Maybe we need lots of potassium. Damn. Zip. No. Ah, okay. Hey, Warren. Max. Asking. Have that either. Lots I of potassium. Think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. Let's make a big See? explosion, Look baby. At that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. Damn. She blinded me with science. Yes, that was a blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool. All right. This can't be that hard. Yes, that was a blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool. We're supposed to rewind again? Maybe sodium and potassium? Hey, Warren. Max. I don't know, dude. Have that even. I guess we'll just stick with lots of potassium, whatever. Let's watch it happen again. Boom! Alright. We need to get to our, uh... This reminds me of playing Dying Light. We gotta open that thing up and get some gauze. We gotta get to class. Maybe check our locker. Not sure what we're supposed to be doing. Nothing in there. I'm uh -oh. trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. 
Have you talked to her? I will. She's mad I missed her call today. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. The Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? I saw Nathan with a gun in the girls' bathroom. Gonna be school. honest with our teacher, he seems cool. I was too scared to go to Principal Wells. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Hmm, I wonder if we should have told him or not. Oh well. Make it's a bit too late now. Me. What are you Bo. wearing? Bo. Bo. Damn! You were looking Max good. Were sitting at her desk. Oh, I'm sure she'll report us How to the principal. Look, Here comes you the mysterious look. Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here. You really nailed me. Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Take a picture of him taking pictures. Are we supposed to get up and go help her? Ready to get beat up again, pussy? Up, Max? <laughs> hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has got your ass handed to you last time. I don't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we have a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> oh, shut up. Not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. You... No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. The hell is that? Speaking of participation... There are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in mind. Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen. The hell's going on? Everybody remain seated. Dismissed. 